Welcome back to Brent Tang, I'm Brent Barnett, and today we're talking about electronic mounting stands. Electronics are becoming very common in the use with acoustic music on a regular basis, and you've got your modules, you've got laptops, how do you attach them to your setup? Well, I'm gonna show you a few mounting options that you can use to integrate your electronic modules and laptops in with your acoustic setup. Let's start with the GEM stand, the G-E-M-S stand. Gibraltar Electronic Mounting Stand. It should have a little bouncy ball going along with the words. As you see, I've got the uh, Roland SPD SX mounted to this stand. Now let me show you how it works. We've got two electronic mounting arms that are mounted to a 12 inch long bar. Now these mounting arms are adjustable, so you can angle them however your heart so desires. So each arm has two rubber adjustable stoppers that secure the module in place. Now let's talk about height. So the minimum height this stand can be adjusted to is about 28 inches. The maximum height is about 42. So it not only is good to hold one of these electronic modules, you can also use it to hold a laptop. So for those of you college students that like to do your homework and write papers while you're standing, this is great for that. <laughs> yes, I know my laptop is a little thick, it's a little old. I'm still running Windows 97, so back off! So if you wanna use this in a rack context, you can ditch the stand base and just use the upper portion and mount it to the rack. So you've got two here. You can use the GEMS T-top and also a pair of the SCGEMC clamps. Now, these two items are sold separately. The, the GEMC clamps are sold as a pair, and this is sold as its own unit. You can't get them together. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. But now, I have the capability of mounting my SPD SX directly right here in playing position, and I'm also able to run Pro Tools off my Windows 97. For keyboard players that are looking for other options than using a traditional keyboard stand, you can use the electronic mounting clamps to mount directly to a Gibraltar rack. Changes the style, changes the look, changes the feel. I've used these clamps on a variety of different keyboard racks that I've built. The key tree, the workhorse, double tiered. They're great because you can stack them and they're very adjustable. So we've established that I've got a Roland SPD SX. See, they have acronyms too. It's not just us that are crazy. But I'm sure you guys have all seen this little funny looking little mount, this little post, and you have to get it separately from the module, and then you figure out how the hell am I gonna attach this? What am I gonna support it on? Oh, well, you get a little clamp and you attach it to a cymbal stand. Next thing you know, you hit it a couple times, you have it set in an unbalanced way, your entire cymbal stand comes crashing down, then you can't hit the crash on one, plus you broke your module. How crappy is that? Well. <coughs> We came up with a stand, it's the 6713EA, it's an electronic mounting stand, and it's double braced, and it stands alone, and it's just designed to mount modules such as this. Many other brands make modules just like this, I just chose to use this one. It has a height range of 25 and a half inches to 37 and a quarter inch, and the actual clamping mechanism rotates. So there's a C-clamp that you can just put the down tube of the mount directly into the C-clamp and tighten. You can rotate the C-clamp 360 degrees to place at any angle that is comfortable for you. Open that up, take this down tube, place it right in the C-clamp and tighten. Now I've got my electronics protected on its own stand and it's very easy to move around. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching. I just showed you guys a few different options of mounting your electronics to their own stands. I even showed you guys how to mount a keyboard to a rack very simply. Now you have no excuse to mount your laptop on or top of a road case or on top of a chair, which may cause it to vibrate off and damage your Windows 97. I hear it's very difficult to come by these days. Thanks for watching. See you next time.